Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 14 Question 1. Which of the following procedures most specifically describes splitting or separating fused cardiac valve leaflets? A. Commissurotomy Commissurotomy is frequently used for mitral stenosis. B. Annuloplasty Annuloplasty refers to repair of a cardiac valve's outer ring. C. Codoplasty Codoplasty refers to repair of the cordy tendoni of vitroventricular valve leaflets. D. Valvuloplasty Valvuloplasty is a general term that refers to repair of a stenosed or regurgitant cardiac valve by commissurotomy, annuloplasty, leaflet repair, and or codoplasty. Answer A. Question 2. Which of the following mitral valve conditions generally produces no symptoms? A. Prolapus. Mitral valve prolapus is a deformity that usually produces no symptoms and has been diagnosed more frequently in recent years, probably as a result of improved diagnostic methods. B. Stenosis. Mitral valve stenosis usually causes progressive fatigue. C. Regurgitation. Mitral valve regurgitation, in its acute stage, usually presents a severe heart failure. D. Infection. Mitral valve infection, when acute, will produce symptoms typical of infective endocarditis. <laughs> Question 1. Which of the following procedure? Question 3. In which type of cardiomyopathy does the heart muscle actually increase in size and mass weight, especially along the septum? A. Hypertrophic. Because of the structural changes, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy had also been called idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis IHSS or asymmetric septal hypertrophy ASH. B. Dilated. Because of the structural changes, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy had also been called idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis IHSS or asymmetric septal hypertrophy ASH. C. Restrictive. Restrictive cardiomyopathy is characterized by diastolic dysfunction caused by rigid ventricular walls that impair ventricular stretch and diastolic filling. D. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy ARVC occurs when the myocardium of the right ventricle is progressively infiltrated and replaced by fibrous scar and adipose tissue. Answer A. Question 4. Which of the following patient behaviors, if observed by the nurse, would indicate that the cardiac patient's level of anxiety has decreased? A. Answers questions regarding status with no problem. Generally, when anxiety begins to increase, the patient will be less likely to want to discuss prognosis. B. Discusses prognosis freely. Open discussion generally indicates some degree of comfort with prognosis. C. Verbalizes fears and concerns. Verbalization of fears and concerns indicates some degree of comfort with prognosis. D. Participates in support groups. Participation in support groups indicates some degree of comfort with prognosis. <laughs> Answer A. Question 5. The patient with which of the follow characteristics is considered high risk for the development of infective endocarditis? A. 
complex cyanotic congenital malformations. The patient who has complex cyanotic congenital malformations is at high risk for the development of infective endocarditis. B. Mitral valve prolapse with valvular regurgitation. The patient with mitral valve prolapse with valvular regurgitation is at moderate risk for the development of infective endocarditis. C. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is at moderate risk for the development of infective endocarditis. D. Acquired valvular dysfunction. The patient with acquired valvular dysfunction is at moderate risk for the development of infective endocarditis. <laughs> Answer A. Question 6. Which of the following terms indicates the amount of blood pumped out of the ventricle with each contraction of the heart? A. Stroke volume. Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped out ejected with each contraction of the heart heartbeat. Stroke volume times heart rate equals cardiac output. B. Afterload. Afterload is the amount of resistance to ejection of blood from a ventricle. C. Cardiac output. Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out of the heart in one minute. D. Preload. Preload is the pressure created by a volume of blood within a ventricle before contraction. <laughs> Answer A. Question 7. When the balloon on the distal tip of a pulmonary artery catheter is inflated and a pressure is measured, the measurement obtained is referred to as the A. Pulmonary artery wedge pressure. When the balloon is inflated, the tip of the catheter floats into smaller branches of the pulmonary artery until it can no longer be passed and the pressure is recorded, reflecting left atrial pressure and left ventricular and diastolic pressure. B. Central venous pressure. Central venous pressure is measured in the right atrium. C. Pulmonary artery pressure. Pulmonary artery pressure is measured when the balloon tip is not inflated. D. Cardiac output. Cardiac output is determined through thermodilation involving injection of fluid into the pulmonary artery catheter. <coughs> Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number <coughs> Question 7. When the balloon on the distal Question 9. When the nurse observes that the patient always has difficulty breathing when lying flat, the nurse records that the patient is demonstrating A. Orthopnea Patients with orthopnea prefer not to lie flat and will need to maintain their beds in a semi to high fowler's position. B. Dyspnea on exertion. Dyspnea on exertion refers to difficulty breathing with activity. C. Hypopnea. Hypopnea refers to increased rate and depth of respiration. D. Paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. Paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea refers to orthopnea that occurs only at night.
Answer A. Answer A. Question 7. When the balloon on the distal Answer A. Answer A. Question 9. When the nurse observes that the patient always has difficulty breathing when lying flat, the nurse records that the patient is demonstrating A. Orthopnea. Patients with orthopnea prefer not to lie flat and will need to maintain their beds in a semi to high fowler's position. B. Dyspnea on exertion. Dyspnea on exertion refers to difficulty breathing with activity. C. Hypopnea. Hypopnea refers to increased rate and depth of respiration. D. Paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. Paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea refers to orthopnea that occurs only at night. Question 13. Which of the following terms refers to a muscular gram plague pain in the extremities consistently reproduced with the same degree of exercise and relieved by rest? A. Intermittent claudication. Intermittent claudication is a sign of peripheral arterial insufficiency. B. Aneurysm. An aneurysm is a localized sac of an artery wall formed at a weak point in the vessel. C. Brute. A brute is the sound produced by turbulent blood flow through an irregular, tortuous, stenotic, or dilated vessel. D. Ischemia. Ischemia is a term used to denote deficient blood supply. <laughs> Answer A. Question 14. Which of the following observations regarding ulcer formation on the patient's lower extremity indicate to the nurse that the ulcer is a result of venous insufficiency? A. The border of the ulcer is irregular. The border of an ulcer caused by arterial insufficiency is circular. B. The ulcer is very painful to the patient, even though superficial. Superficial venous insufficiency ulcers cause minimal pain. C. The ulcer base is pale to black. The base of a venous insufficiency ulcer shows beefy red to yellow fibrinous color. D. The ulcer is deep, involving the joint space. Venous insufficiency ulcers are usually superficial.
Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 4 Question 15 A diagnostic test that involves injection of a contrast media into the venous system through a dorsal vein in the foot is termed A. Contrast phlebography When a thrombus exists, an X-ray image will disclose an unfilled segment of a vein B. Airplethysmography Airplethysmography quantifies venous reflux and calf muscle pump ejection. C. Lymphangiography. In lymphangiography, contrast media are injected into the lymph system. D. Lymphocentigraphy. In lymphocentigraphy, a radioactive labeled colloid is injected into the lymph system. Answer A. Answer A. Question 16. The nurse teaches the patient with peripheral vascular disease to refrain from smoking because nicotine causes A. Vasospasm. Nicotine causes vasospasm and can thereby dramatically reduce circulation to the extremities. B. Slowed heart rate. Nicotine has stimulant effects. C. Depression of the cough reflex. Nicotine does not suppress cough. Smoking irritates the bronchial tree, causing coughing. D. Diuresis. Nicotine does not cause diuresis. Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number four. Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following types of aneurysms results in bleeding into the layers of the arterial wall? A. Dissecting. Dissection results from a rupture in the intimal layer, resulting in bleeding between the intimal and medial layers of the arterial wall. B. Sacula. Sacula aneurysms collect blood in the weak and outpouching. C. False. In a false aneurysm, the mass is actually a pulsating hematoma. D. Anastomotic. An anastomotic aneurysm occurs as a result of infection at arterial suture or graft sites. Answer A. Question 16. The nurse teaches the... Answer A. Answer A. Question 16. The nurse teaches the...
Answer A. Question 16. The nurse teaches the... Question 22. Of the following diuretic medications, which conserves potassium. A. Spironolactone aldatone. Aldatone is known as a potassium sparing diuretic. B. Furosemide lasix. Lasix causes loss of potassium from the body. C. Chlorothiazidural. Dural causes mild hypokalemia. D. Clothalidon hygroton. Hygroton causes mild hypokalemia. Question 23. Which of the following adrenergic inhibitors acts directly on the blood vessels, producing vasodilation? A. Prazosin hydrochloride mini-press. Mini-press is a peripheral vasodilator acting directly on the blood vessel. It is not used in angina and coronary artery disease, however, because it induces tachycardia if not preceded by administration of propranolol and a diuretic. B. Reserpine surpicil. Surpicil impairs synthesis and reuptake of norepinephrine. C. Propranolol Indoral blocks the beta-adrenergic receptors of the sympathetic nervous system, especially the sympathetics to the heart, producing a slower heart rate and lowered blood pressure. D. Clonidin hydrochloride catapas. Catapas acts through the central nervous system, apparently through centrally mediated alpha-adrenergic stimulation in the brain, producing blood pressure reduction. Question 14. Which of the following op Answer A. Question 25. Which of the following terms refers to a form of white blood cell involved in immune response? A. Lymphocyte. Both B and T lymphocytes respond to exposure to antigens. B. Granulocyte. Granulocytes include basophils, neutrophils, and eosinophils. C. Spherocyte. A spherocyte is a red blood cell without central pallor, seen with hemolysis. D. Thrombocyte. A thrombocyte is a platelet. 
Question 14. Which of the following Answer A. Question 2. Which of the following mitral valve? Question 25. Which of the following t Question 2. Which of the following mitral valve conditions generally produces no symptoms? A. Prolapus. Mitral valve prolapse is a deformity that usually produces no symptoms and has been diagnosed more frequently in recent years, probably as a result of improved diagnostic methods. B. Stenosis. Mitral valve stenosis usually causes progressive fatigue. C. Regurgitation. Mitral valve regurgitation, in its acute stage, usually presents. Question 25. Which of the following? T Answer A. Answer A. Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following types of aneurysms results in bleeding into the layers of the arterial wall? A. Dissecting. Dissection results from a rupture in the intimal layer, resulting in bleeding between the intimal and medial layers of the arterial wall. B. Sacular. Sacular aneurysms collect blood in the weak and outpouching. C. False. In a false aneurysm, the mass is actually a pulsating hematoma. D. Anastomotic. An anastomotic aneurysm occurs as a result of infection at arterial suture or gra. Answer A. Answer A.
Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following type? Question 5. The patient with which of the follow characteristics is considered high risk for the development of infective endocarditis? A. Complex cyanotic congenital malformations. The patient who has complex cyanotic congenital malformations is at high risk for the development of infective endocarditis. B. Mitral valve prolapse with valvular regurgitation. The patient with mitral valve prolapse with valvular regurgitation is at moderate risk for the development of infective endocarditis. C. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The Question 14. Which of the following op Question 2. Which of the following mitral valve conditions generally produces no symptoms? A. Prolapse. Mitral valve prolapse is a deformity that usually produces no symptoms and has been diagnosed more frequently in recent years, probably as a result of improved diagnostic methods. B. Stenosis. Mitral valve stenosis usually causes progressive fatigue. C. Regurgitation. Mitral valve regurgitation, in its acute stage, usually presents a severe heart failure. D. Infection. Mitral valve infection, when acute, will produce symptoms typical of infective. <coughs> Question 5. The patient with which of the. Question 14. Which of the following observations regarding ulcer formation on the patient's lower extremity indicate to the nurse that the ulcer is a result of venous insufficiency? A. The border of the ulcer is irregular. The border of an ulcer caused by arterial insufficiency is circular. B. The ulcer is very painful to the patient, even though superficial. Superficial venous insufficiency ulcers cause minimal pain. C. The ulcer base is pale to black. The base of a venous insufficiency ulcer shows beefy red to yellow fibrinous color. D. The ulcer is deep, involving the joint space. Venous insufficiency ulcers are usually superficial. <laughs> Answer A. Answer A. Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following types of aneurysms results in bleeding into the layers of the arterial wall? A. Dissecting. Dissection results from a rupture in the intimal layer, resulting in bleeding between the intimal and medial layers of the arterial wall. B. Sacular. Sacular aneurysms collect blood in the weak and outpouching. C. False. In a false aneurysm, the mass is actually a pulsating hematoma. D. Anastomotic. An anastomotic aneurysm occurs as a result of infection at arterial suture or graft sites. Answer A.
Answer A. Question 14. Which of the following op Answer A. Answer A. Answer A. Question 39. Which of the following statements accurately describes cancer of the esophagus? A. Chronic irritation of the esophagus is a known risk factor. In the United States, cancer of the esophagus has been associated with the ingestion of alcohol and the use of tobacco. B. It is three times more common in women in the U.S. than men. In the United States, carcinoma of the esophagus occurs more than three times as often in men as in women. C. It is seen more frequently in Caucasians than in African Americans. It is seen more frequently in African Americans than in Caucasians. D. It usually occurs in the fourth decade of life. It usually occurs in the fifth decade of life. Answer A. Answer A. Question 13. Which of the following terms refers to a muscular, gram plague pain in the extremities consistently reproduced with the same degree of exercise and relieved by rest? A. Intermittent claudication. Intermittent claudication is a sign of peripheral arterial insufficiency. B. An aneurysm. An aneurysm is a localized sac of an artery wall formed at a weak point in the vessel. C. Brute. A brute is the sound produced by turbulent blood flow through an irregular, tortuous, stenotic, or dilated vessel. D. Ischemia. Ischemia is a term used to denote deficient blood supply. Answer A. Question 39. Which of the following st Answer A.
Answer A. Question 13. Which of the following term? Answer A. Answer A. Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following type? Answer A. Answer A. Question 17. Which of the following types of aneurysms results in bleeding into the layers of the arterial wall? A. Dissecting. Dissection results from a rupture in the intimal layer, resulting in bleeding between the intimal and medial layers of the arterial wall. B. Sacular. Sacular aneurysms collect blood in the weak and outpouching. C. False. In a false aneurysm, the mass is actually a pulsating hematoma. D. Anastomotic. An anastomotic aneurysm occurs as a result of infection at arterial suture or graft sites. Answer A. Question 5. The patient with which of the...
Question 17. Which of the following types? Answer A. Question 5. The patient with which of the... Question 39. Which of the following... Answer A. Question 5. The patient with which of the follow characteristics is considered high risk for the development of infective endocarditis? A. Complex cyanotic congenital malformations. The patient who has complex cyanotic congenital malformations is at high risk for the development of infective endocarditis. B. Mitral valve prolapse with valvular regurgitation. The patient with mitral valve prolapse with. Question 39. Which of the following? <laughs> Answer A. Answer A. Question 13. Which of the following terms refers to a muscular gram? 